Yo, welcome, welcome, y'all. Welcome back to Envision, the most positive place on the internet, okay? Today, we're going to talk about another type of crab. That's right. There's a lot of crabs in the bucket, okay? I don't know how many crabs there are. Someone asked me, and I said five. <laughs> There's probably going to be more than five. Today, we're going to talk about a big one I think is very important. It's one of the ones that, in my opinion, um, it's one of the worst ones, in my opinion. Uh, you tell me in the comment section below which one do you think is worse. Are the ones I've talked about in the past worse than this one, or does this one sound like the worst? Let me know. So today's one is about what I would call the heavy lead crab, okay? Or maybe the anchor crab is better. We'll say the anchor crab. This crab is a burden. It lives off of you know, being a burden around other people. It likes that, okay? It's into it. That's what it's all about, baby. That's what it's all about. It hates it. It hates uh, It hates production. It hates people moving forward. It hates people advancing. It hates people having a good day. It thrives off of other people's suffering. So it does selfish things because it doesn't care, right? So this person, uh, for example, I'll give you an example. So let's say you work in a barber shop and you're cutting hair, okay? I like that example because it requires some sort of teamwork. Um, the barbershop needs, you know, a, a, a cohesive environment, right? If you're skipping customers, guess what? Everybody else has to suffer. Everybody else has to catch up. Everybody else has to uh, keep up the pace, which means they're going to be working faster. They're going to be working harder. They're going to be stressing out. They're going to be in pain. It's going to suck. It's going to suck. Um, unfortunately, uh, this crab does not care. Other crabs have a, a more of a cohesive relationship with everybody else because the crab still needs other people to sulk her, right? This, this is a misery loves company. So the crab's nature usually is all about commiserating and creating that community of, 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 of pain and depression and sorrow and, and uh, you know, complaining and all that stuff. Um, they need that, right? But this crab is a little different in that it knows everybody's gonna stay and it makes everybody else pay, if that makes sense. This, this is a crab that's disgusting because it understands that other people are there by necessity, right? It makes other people who are there by necessity suffer. And that's why it's the, more, it's the worst. It hates their job, they hate their life, and they hate the tasks they do. So they make everybody else work harder by virtue of them just kind of willy nilly not doing enough work or skipping or disappearing, the, you know, from doing the work. So let's say you work at a barber shop. This person skips customers. This person takes extra breaks. This person disappears. Name the job. They do it. They're going to make you pay. Um, they bring everybody else down with them. Okay. They're lazy. Um, they won't quit their job. That's even, in my opinion, the, the reason why they're the, they're the worst. They, they hold everybody else down and they willfully do it. Okay. Um, they're more action based than verbal based. They'll never tell you that they're doing it. Right. Versus like other crabs who they will complain. They kind of announce who they are by complaining. Um, and so, you know, they don't have concern for their other coworkers or the people around them who, who are working with them, right? Um, you know, they completely destroy, um, and they, they completely destroy the environment, the, 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 the camaraderie, the, the, the positive vibes that normally would be, um, you know, uh, that would permeate a workplace, right? People try to create some sort of community in the workplace they're in. Well, this person kind of throws a wrench into it all the time, right? Even when they're trying to commiserate, this person is like, you know, gleefully, right? living off of the backs of their work. So they're just completely laughing at them. They're completely laughing at them. Um, and so they worsen every workplace they're in. They don't care. They like it. Um, and they're usually broken people inside. And I think that's the, mo the most poignant part aside from the fact that they are uh, leeches. They, they are people who uh, are broken themselves. And so the, the solution for that is with this kind of person is once you realize who they are, you have to leave. That is one of those jobs where you know you got to go and you got to put a date on it. I've talked about the, that before where you recognize like the twin crab where you recognize, oh, these are these are people who are, you know, crabs in a bucket, you know, severe crabs in a bucket. I have to go. You have to go. It is important and imperative you understand that. Take your time as far as finding a better place. Right. You know, eventually you're going to find a better place, uh, quote unquote, better as in, you know, better uh your your goal your ideal place right you can look you can look on the side for that stuff but definitely look at the immediate get something immediate okay it's fine to get something immediate 
It's not a big deal. You want to make sure you have that safety and security of the job, but not be miserable. And that's the point. Um, but that's my opinion. You know, what's your, what's your opinion? Let me know in the comment section below. Appreciate your time. Have a great day. Bye.